Hi everyone, my name is Guilherme. My name is Tomas. Uh, welcome, welcome to our channel. In the video of today, how is day 6 of November of 2020? Uh, we celebrate something special today, right? It's our first anniversary of our relationship. No, we complete four years together. So guys, since we are celebrating our fourth anniversary of being boyfriends, not of being husbands, and a lot of people have been asking about our story, how we met, if we are living together or not, we decided that we would make a new video telling our story updated to 2020. On the 6th of November of 2016, this boy here was in an application called Tandem. Tandem. And I was there too. A friend of mine said like, oh my gosh, look at that application, look cool, you can learn another language and meet persons from the world. And so I downloaded it. And Tom asked how he wanted to improve his English. He was studying that. He downloaded it too. And someday, by nothing, aleatory day, 6th of November, <laughs> Tomas sent me a message. And he was like, oh my gosh, how are you? I'm from Spain. And we started talking. Our conversation was the most aleatory kind of conversation that you can imagine. At first, I had a weird feeling because you have probably seen his pictures, he looked like a model and I thought, wait, this is somebody using the pictures of a model creating a fake profile, trying to lie to people to get money and you send a message and yeah <laughs> you are weird so at first our conversations were pointless we talk about great god mm. about aliens and uh, yeah other topics yes. you know and by not we stopped talking and one week after we start talking again and because i send you a message yeah again so you're welcome Shh, you are welcome Shh. after that we start talking we will become closer 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 and we start to have a relationship even from far, you know, and was the first time that we have a relationship with the person of the same sex. By that time, we would start FaceTiming. We would make video calls, but only in the night when my parents went to sleep. Yeah, and I was closed in my bedroom with the door closed. <laughs> because my parents didn't know that I like boys. And if they saw me making a video call with a boy, it would be a bit suspicious. So I had to wait for them to go to sleep and then hide myself a bit and make a video call with him. So on Jan January? Today, on the 6th of January? 6th of January too. We said like, okay, we have to tell for our parents so we can leave this without hiding from nobody. And we see what happened. And we tell for them together. I we was waiting my father arrived from the job, his job. So his parents was already home and said like, okay, it's now. We stop the car, we bring our parents to our bedroom and we told them and everything was fine. And after that, we post a long distance, you know, a long <laughs> We post a, a relationship on Facebook and everybody knows that it was a couple. Everything changed a bit. Some persons disappeared for our life, yes. But what's more important is that we could be us. We could share our love. We could post our pictures even with as montages and everything. And so from then on, our relationship grew, developed. We fell in love with each other a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. And so we always try to do things to be closer to each other, like we watch movies, we play games. And we came up with the idea of creating a YouTube channel to have something in common, to have something that kept us entertained and also to make memories, you know, and to show people that a long distance relationship is complicated, but it's possible. Um. His birthday, his parents gave it to him a ticket to come to Brazil. So he went to Brazil on the 4th of September. Let me say something, because my birthday was on the 10th of July. And my mom was like, okay, I'm gonna give him the ticket and he's gonna go to Brazil next year or next summer or maybe he doesn't even go. So they told me that I could go to Brazil and to buy the ticket. And what did I do? I booked the ticket. In the same day <laughs> that yeah. they gave you. <laughs> it was like in the same moment and my mother was freaking out. Yes. But yeah, he came to Brazil on the 4th of September. We spent 21 days perfect together. We meet at the for Rio for the first time. You can watch the video there because we post on YouTube. So after that, we spent one year without seeing each other because we couldn't afford to travel and everything. But thanks to the channel, we could make some money. And on December 2018, December was November. And yeah, November, November, December 2018, Guilherme came for the first time to Spain. I spent three months almost, right? Yes, he left on February. And that was, was super good. 
So after that I came home, I stayed three months in Brazil and I came back, no? Yeah, he came back on June. And that time we were like, okay, we have to do something. We were talking about getting married because the distance was too much. And we don't have money to come, yeah. come at the time. It was really complicated, you know? So it was that moment that I said, okay, let's go start plans, the papers for our wedding and everything. While we were in the long distance relationship, while he was in Brazil after he came back the first time, we were already investigating and we were looking for information. It's not and everything so when he came here for the second time to Spain we went to Madrid we made all the documents possible first when I was here for the second time we tried to make some documents in the place where we we get married but nobody knows nothing nobody will help us or anything so everything that we have to do was by ourselves was find on the internet find places and everything but we did we got married and because of the law I have to come back to Brazil again because I came with an invitation letter made by his mother so I could not stay in the country so I have to leave. And three months after, he came here. Uh, and he's been here for almost one year. Yes. We are living together. We are super happy, and we are planning to to have a baby. As <laughs> <laughs> a joke, guys. It's someday, crazy. someday, but not now. Uh, even with the thing of the quarantine and the coronavirus and everything, I don't know. I think we could have a, a nice year. We was living, you know. We was starting to enjoy this life together. as husband, you know, even if we live with his parents, you know. Because the previous times he was like, okay, we're, you're gonna spend here some months and you're gonna have to live. Now we have another mentality yeah. that he's gonna stay here and for the third Soon we're gonna have our place to live, our house and everything, our jobs. And that moment you're gonna start really for, uh, living for real as husband. But right now we are super happy with what we have with everything that his parents do for us and principally for me and what your parents do because yeah. they are far but the support and the love that they give us is something super important so we are really thankful with them so what's that story so you know i resume super super fast because everything happened so we had to summarize our relationship for years in a couple of minutes yeah so if you want to know more about us you can watch all the other videos that tell our history since we from the beginning <laughs> many videos now as days The videos have super tattoo in Portuguese and some of them have Spanish, but normally the new ones have in Spanish too. So feel welcome to know more about us. Uh, if you are new here, welcome. And it was was Easter baby. Uh, if you like the video, give us a like, subscribe to this channel if you are new, and we'll see you in the next video.